got to do today is go out to the field, try and figure out where a six acre lot is of the 12 acres that I took soil samples on a couple weeks ago. I actually did soil samples on 35 acres, but there's one field with mixed grass and I just kind of eyeball where midway is, do two different samples. Well, the samples came back and only one part of it needs lime on it. So I got to make a visible boundary where the six acre mark is so I can get lime put on six acres. The other half was good. So um, I'm gonna hook up my GPS to my tractor. I gotta put my monitor back on there. While that's going on, I'm gonna let all these tractors run because it's finally warmed up to 44 degrees. And um, I've also got an app on my phone. I downloaded it this morning. I don't know if it's gonna be helpful or not, but I'm gonna try and walk the field, make, maybe I'll get close to making a six acre perimeter and then I'll verify it with the GPS on my tractor. I just don't want to be going around and around the field. We've gotten over a half inch of rain in the last 36 hours. So I don't want to track the field up too bad. So that's what I'm going to have going on. I don't know how effective it's going to be, but we're going to give it a go because we got to get it done. I've got to go to work for the next few days and the lime may come while I'm at work. It may come when I get off work. I don't know. Everything's weather pending and kind of where you fall in line. We all know that. So I want to get this done since it's not raining right now and hopefully get ahead of the game and be ready for next year. So that's what we're doing. We got a little bit going on, but uh, that's what we got to tackle today. my location so we got distance area POI I'm assuming that's point of interest so we're gonna do area GPS I don't know what the difference is between GPS and manual or you know the particulars on how it works but it looks like we can add a point and then start measuring and then hit done so we'll give it a go let's see I think I'm about midway so we'll see We'll see how accurate my icrometer is. Probably going to be disappointed. Alright, I tried the app out twice. First time it worked good, I mapped out a place, um, four and a half acres. So I just put a flag down here, hit start recording, walked across the field, put another flag down, and then just walked the outside perimeter. So four and a half acres. So I did it again, put some more flags down that way some and another one over at the road and my phone went to sleep while I was walking because I was trying to walk in a straight line and then when I woke it up to check my uh, how it was tracking it had me at somebody's house across the street and then had cut part of the field off so scratch all that I'm just going to do it with the tractor this wind's about to blow my pig off and I don't want to walk it again so 
try it with the tractor and see what we get and uh, see if I can get close to that six acre mark. Okay, so we got the Raven Cruiser. You've probably seen that from my other videos. If you haven't seen it, this is real simple to use to um, do a perimeter. And so we just got it powered up. Green there in the corner means that we have GPS tracking us. So we want to hit play, a new job, get the go ahead, any one of those choices is fine. But then the trick is to go over here to this corner box with the dotted perimeter line. And then when we hit that red record button, it'll start recording our movements. So it says boundary record. I've got my flag down there. I've got another one at the road, but I'm actually going to go kind of beyond this, um, that knoll there. Because I know I took my samples from on top of the knoll and then in the valley and on up the hill. So anywhere I get beyond that knoll, I'll be safe as long as I don't get down into the valley. I know sample one came from this side, sample two came from that side of that valley. So we'll get a good measure on it. I would love to be able to split it in two six acre lots, but if not, then it'll just be a five acre lot, a seven acre lot, and I'm good with that too. But I just need to get it recorded so I can save it on my flash drive. That way I know from now on and um, get these flags out for the wind blows them away. did the cold start 25 degrees with the semi. This is my not so cold start 45 degrees on the trickle charger 7610 start. Fingers crossed. Nope. <laughs> 